Made in the USA, the Radiometric VIEW TZ20R Thermal Zoom Drone Payload lets DJI V2 Matrice 200 Series and 300 pilots see and measure thermal details not possible with other leading SUAS aircraft and payloads. Your manual provides you with all the details you'll need for successful operation. The TZ-20R features two FLIR Boson Thermal Infrared IR cameras that put four times more pixels on target at every zoom level versus all competition and offers an unmatched 20x zoom capability. Utility, roofing, solar farm, and other industrial inspectors can zoom into objects of interest, identify them with unmatched clarity, and take and record radiometric temperature measurements all from a safe standoff distance. Emergency response pilots can search for and observe in silence while using the thermal zoom to reduce false positives and make critical decisions faster. The combination of performance-leading thermal zoom and radiometry makes the VIEW TZ-20R ideal for more efficient missions with faster search, silent surveillance, and safer inspections. Let's go over the installation and quick start guide. Be sure to hold the VIEW TZ-20R securely when attaching or disconnecting it. Remove the protective cap from the Skyport connector and insert the gimbal into its mount on the airframe. Rotate the connector to the unlocked position and fully insert it into the mount. Then rotate the connector to the locked position and confirm the TZ-20R is mounted securely. If flying with a second payload, Make sure both are aimed forward upon startup. This will prevent the payloads from contacting each other during the initialization process. Power on the airframe and remote controller and open the DJI pilot application. When flying dual payloads, make sure the controller is in gimbal control mode so the cameras turn together and don't bump into each other during flight. If you aren't using the controller supplied with the DJI Matrice, install the DJI Pilot app on an Android device. This DJI link will provide you with details on compatible devices and installation. The DJI Pilot app is required to operate the View TZ-20R. The user controls appear on the right edge. In the main screen, users have the option to toggle between recording modes through the menu and to adjust operational parameters including Flat Field Correction or FFC, AGC, Color Palette, Zoom, the Radiometric Spot Meter, and other payload settings. The VIEW TZ-20R does not support viewing recorded imagery on the SD from the app. Note that an FFC will momentarily freeze the live image. In the menu, users can toggle the recording mode between photo and video, start and stop recording, and select the photo mode. Single shot, burst mode, and interval options are available. The interval capture rate can be set between 1 to 30 seconds. An FFC, flat field correction, is an offset calibration that's triggered at power-up, after a set change in temperature, and periodically throughout the camera operation. The FFC adjusts internal settings that compensate for environmental temperature changes, camera temperature changes, and other conditions that impact camera operation. This maintains image quality by removing noise and other artifacts that may occur when used in dynamic operational conditions. The VIEW TZ-20R is always in auto FFC mode, but a manual trigger is also possible by pressing the FFC icon. Note that when FFC is executed, the live image will pause momentarily. The AGC Lock Unlock allows the image to hold a constant temperature to color palette setting in a dynamic moving scene. This helps the user identify objects in the camera field of view with specific infrared radiation and facilitates locating items in specific scenes. Multiple color palettes are available. The desired color palette is saved with JPEG and MOV files, but not with TIFF files. The icon indicates the current palette. Users can select the color simply by pressing the icon. Adjusting the palette can help with interpreting thermal images. Go to this link to find more information about selecting the appropriate palette. 
The FLIRVIEW TZ20R is capable of up to 20x thermal zoom. The user can maintain a wide field of view to cover a large area quickly and then zoom in on targets of interest when desired. Press the zoom icon to select 1x, 5x, 10x, and 20x zoom. Zoom is calculated based on the Wide Horizontal Field of View, HFOV, or WFOV boson. Zoom level 1x utilizes a wide 95 degree HFOV, 640 by 512 resolution boson. This is referred to as the NFOV boson. Zoom levels 5x, 10x, and 20x utilize a narrow 18 degree HFOV 640 by 512 resolution boson. Zooming from 1x to 5x is an optical zoom unique to the TZ20R and places over 327,000 pixels on target at both levels. Zooming 5x, 10x, and 20x is a digital zoom. All four zoom levels place four times more pixels on target versus pure digital zoom payloads using the same starting HFOV. TIFF images are saved without the zoom applied. JPEG and MOV files get saved with zoom and colorization. The View TZ20R should be at least 50 feet from the target when using the 20x zoom setting to maximize focus. At the 5x zoom setting, the minimum distance to target is 5 feet. The TZ20R is equipped with a variety of radiometric features that can be enabled by the pilot. These include a spot meter measurement, region of interest or ROI measurement boxes that display the hottest, coolest, and average temperature of all pixels within the ROI, and hot or cold isotherms. Press the radiometry icon to select radiometric settings. It's recommended that new users operate the TZ20R with its factory default settings for radiometry. Please visit the link for more information on UAS radiometry. The spot meter is engaged using the icon on the main view screen. When turned on, the spot meter icon and measured temperature will appear in the middle of the screen. There are two regions of interest options, frame and center. Frame defines the ROI as the full view as displayed on the user interface. Center creates and displays an ROI is smaller than full user interface. The hottest, coldest, and average temperature within the ROI is displayed for both frame and center. The hottest measure temperature is indicated with the red upward pointing triangle. The coldest temperature has the blue downward pointing triangle. Access the ROI feature via the payload icon on the main view screen. Scroll through the menu to select Measurement ROI. Tap the option box to the right to change from the default None setting to Frame or Center. Press the X at the upper right corner of the menu to return to the main screen. The selected ROI will appear on the user interface indicating and locating the hottest, coldest, and average temperature. The isotherm feature provides colorization of regions within the image that are above or below temperature thresholds. The user selects above or below and sets the temperature threshold. Isotherms are useful for quickly identifying areas or objects of interest within the scene and can be used for inspection, search and rescue, and more. The isotherm feature is enabled via the payload icon on the main user view screen. Scroll down to the isotherm on-off feature and select the above or below option in the drop-down menu. Set the threshold temperature using the isotherm threshold. Use the numerical keypad to select the desired threshold. In the example figures, the above option has been selected with a threshold of 39 degrees Celsius. Any areas of the scene above that will be highlighted in red. If the below option is selected, any areas with temperatures less than the isotherm threshold will be highlighted in blue. Both SD cards must be inserted to operate the unit. Each micro SD card can be viewed as a storage device for the VIEW TZ20R. To view the contents, connect to a computer using a USB-C cable. The user will be able to copy or transfer files accordingly. On the export gimbal, there's a micro SD card slot under a protective cover. 
This port is intended for storing logs by DJI and will not save data from the VU TZ20R. GPS data is required to sync the date and time. If GPS data is unavailable, the file names will report a default time of 1970, like the example shows. This can be prevented by ensuring the airframe is connected to the GPS prior to taking an image capture. Saved images and videos should use the naming convention outlined here. These are the validated micro SDs supported by the VU TZ20R. Working micro SD cards are not limited to this list. Recorded data gets saved as two files on the micro SD cards. Folders are created when the first file is saved. Still images can be saved in TIFF and RJPEG format. The TIFFs contain raw data from the Boson thermal camera and both WFOV and NFOV images are saved. RJPEG contains a colorized image of what the screen displays. Standard JPEG compression retains the selected color palette and zoom level. The cameras can capture images at a set interval ranging from 1 to 30 seconds. Video footage is recorded from both Boson thermal cameras and simultaneously saved as separate files. Video formats can be saved as a TIFF at 10 Hz or as a .MOV at 25 Hz. Saving MOV video also saves an SRT file with the same file name. The SRT is a subtitle file format that logs video information updated every second. This information includes date and time, GPS coordinates, altitude, and the zoom increment. To access the DJI Pilot payload settings, press the icon on the top right of the screen and then tap the payload icon. Users can directly access the payload settings by tapping the icon in the quick menu. This is the menu where the user can modify various capture settings. Still images are saved onto SD2 in the image folder. These images have passed through AGC and are colorized. They look the same as what displays on the user interface screen. Still images from both the WFOV and NFOV camera are saved in the image folder on micro SD1 and micro SD2 respectively. Images are synchronized and are in 16-bit with no AGC, zoom level, or color palette applied. This format is appropriate for analytics. H.264 is encoded 640 by 512 25 hertz video, replicating what's shown on the user interface screen. This is saved onto SD1 in the MOV folder. 10 hertz video is saved as multi-page TIFF images in the SEQ folder from both the WFOV and NFOV cameras onto micro SD1 and micro SD2 respectively. The frames are synchronized. New multi-page TIFF files are automatically created every three minutes to avoid creating excessively large files. The user can toggle between automatic or manual FFC mode. In automatic mode, the camera periodically triggers an FFC in response typical of FFC conditions. In manual FFC mode, the camera will perform an FFC only upon command. The scene dynamic range setting changes the scene temperature range or gain mode of both cameras. Hot or low gain mode is the appropriate range for higher temperature scenes. Normal or high gain mode is the appropriate range for lower temperature scenes. AGC region of interest allows the user to optimize the AGC for a subset of the total field of view. For example, if the user wants to image a scene that contains a lot of sky, the user can change the region of interest to the lower portion of that field of view to enhance contrast on objects of interest. This increases the appropriate details by providing more color resolution on the targets of interest instead of applying the AGC on the entire frame. See section 6.5.9 of the Boson Engineering Data Sheet for more details. The TZ20 provides three regions of interest or ROI options, full frame, lower 67% and lower 50%. Digital detail enhancement and advanced digital enhancement enable algorithms that can help the user find low contrast targets in high dynamic range scenes. 
Similar to a sharpening filter, these non-linear image processing algorithms are designed to enhance the high spatial frequencies or edges of targets in the image. ADE on is the default setting. Most pilots prefer this view. Further details about DDE can be found by going to this link. Objects may appear out of focus if they're too close. This is especially true when using the 5x, 10x, or 20x zoom feature. Make sure objects are at least 20 feet or 6 meters from the View TZ-20R for best zoomed focus. Thermal image quality is best when viewing high contrast scenes where there are objects at various temperatures. If image quality is lower than expected, record images on a high contrast scene to determine if there's a camera problem or simply a low contrast scene situation where objects are nearly isothermal or similar temperature. Engage the ADE default on or DDE features to enhance the edges of images. This will create more contrast and help target objects stand out more. Take a moment to briefly look over the specifications. Refer to the manual for a more in-depth review. The standard warranty for the VIEW TZ-20R UAS payload is one year from the date of delivery to the customer. This covers evaluation and the repair or replacement of non-conforming components. Please note what the warranty does not cover. The buyer is responsible for the cost of shipping the payload to Teledyne FLIR. We pay the return shipping costs. Any product returned to Teledyne FLIR, whether it's under warranty or not, must use Teledyne FLIR's RMA process. To obtain an RMA number, please contact our technicians at sba-camerarepair at FLIR.com. Please do not return any payloads or camera products to Teledyne FLIR without an RMA number. Packages not clearly marked with the RMA number may be delayed in being received by Teledyne FLIR, which could also affect turnaround time. When it comes to troubleshooting, use this LED indication table as a guide to potential issues. It's in the manual for your reference. Yellow shows when the VIEW TZ-20R is booting up. If the LED is blue, the VIEW TZ-20R is likely not connected to the UAS. Green solid means the unit is powered up and ready to go. Slow flashing green indicates streaming video is recording. Orange blinking fast is a warning there's a recording error, SD card issue, or potential camera error. Red flashing fast means there's a fatal error occurring with the VIEW TZ-20R. The LED flashes purple when the firmware upgrade process is active. Here's the firmware upgrade procedure. Download the latest version from this URL. Copy the file onto the micro SD card using a USB-C cable or micro SD reader. With the TZ-20R on, Wait about 5 seconds for the camera to boot up and then insert the micro SD card into slot 1. Slot 2 may remain empty. The update will occur if the power source can provide a constant 5 volts. Use the airframe or a computer to power the unit. Do not disconnect the power during the update. This could lead to a malfunctioned unit and may render the VIEW TZ-20R unusable. The purple LED will blink during the upgrade. The VIEW TZ-20R will automatically power cycle. For downgrades, first rename the desired firmware update file to VIEW TZ-20 underscore I underscore V 0.0.0.itm. .0 Copy the file onto the micro SD card. With the TZ-20R powered on, wait about 5 seconds for the camera to boot up and insert the card into slot 1. The update will continue if the power source maintains a constant 5 volts. The purple LED will blink and the unit will automatically power cycle. The LED will flash orange during power-up, then resume its standard LED operation.
There may be situations where the VU TZ20R successfully completes the boot operation, but the icons or video stream won't appear in the DJI Pilot app. This can happen when power cycling the airframe VU TZ20R while remote control and app are still active. When this occurs, restart the DJI Pilot app. Power cycling the controller will also resolve the same issue, but that requires more time. Download the FLIR Boson application, also referred to as Boson GUI or simply GUI, from this link. To view the Boson video streams, plug the VU TZ20R into a PC using a USB-C cable and run the FLIR Boson application. Under the Device Select drop-down menu, choose which Boson to view. The FLIR Boson application will only display one video stream at a time. To view both streams simultaneously, open a separate FLIR Boson application window and select a different FLIR Boson under Device Select. For support and other resources, visit the OEM Support Portal. Click Ask a Question and fill out the form to reach a product specialist. The VU TZ20R is compatible with post-flight thermal image processing and reporting software. FLIR Thermal Studio is available for download from the site. We also encourage you to check out UAS thermal camera training and formal thermography certification courses available through ITC, the Infrared Training Center. Thank you.